Remembering a borderland legend today, the sports community is mourning the death of longtime sports journalist Ray Sanchez. Sanchez was 94 years old. ABC 7 sports director Adrian Ochoa is live with a look back at Sanchez's life as well as the impact he had on sports here in the Sun City. Adrian. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, you know, sports journalists, they come and go here in El Paso, but not for Sanchez. El Paso was home. A graduate of El Paso High School, it was a career that spanned decades and certainly withstood the test of time. And I thought I was interviewing him, but he was interviewing me. <laughs> Ray Sanchez couldn't hold back his excitement being on the set of Glory Road in 2004, interviewing Josh Lucas, the actor who played Coach Haskins. More on that in a bit. Sanchez didn't need a bat or a ball to become a sports icon in El Paso. He only needed a pen. I mean, more than 70 years of covering El Paso sports, nobody knew more than Ray. Sanchez started his career covering high school sports. He spoke fondly of getting thrown into showers with teams after a big win. He wrote for the El Paso Herald Post from 1950 to 1990 and was the first Hispanic sports editor in El Paso. This photo speaks volumes. Sanchez interviewing the great Willie Mays during an exhibition game in El Paso. Former ABC7 reporter and sports journalist Darren Hunt got to know Sanchez well. They both would sometimes cover the same stories. Hunt saying Sanchez was always willing to help a fellow journalist and his knowledge was unmatched. Just sitting down with him and listening to him talk about people like Lee Trevino or Coach Haskins and uh, Don Maynard. I mean, these guys that you were going to do a story on, if you didn't go talk to Ray about him, you really didn't have that true sense because Ray was there. He was with these people. Sanchez continued to write about sports in El Paso well into his 90s. He wrote columns for the El Paso Times and El Paso Inc. In 2019, he was honored as a Sun Bowl legend. Sanchez covered more than 50 Sun Bowls throughout his career. Sun Bowl Association Director Bernie Olivas recalled the time the Sun Bowl needed some advice from Sanchez. When we celebrate our 75th uh, you know, Sun Bowl game, I put together a panel of uh, sports writers and, and sports journalists to try to pick the top 75 players who had ever played in the Sun Bowl. And of course, he knew them all. He knew people that we didn't know, that we had to go back and do some research and say, oh yeah, this guy definitely belongs you know, in the class of, you know, the class of 75. There was also his impact on the coaches he reported on, from Don Haskins to Nolan Richardson. It was Sanchez who convinced Coach Haskins to meet with the team from Disney to make one particular film. The film Glory Road garnered interest from Disney because of a book Sanchez wrote about the 1966 Texas Western team. The book was called Basketball's Biggest Upset. His book used as a reference during filming. They changed the whole sport and all for the better, you know. Our country became better because of it. Uh, the South certainly became better. And, uh, and it showed us what, what we could do and what a better country we could become. Sanchez would also go to bat for coaches. When college basketball coach Nolan Richardson kept getting rejected for induction into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, Sanchez spearheaded the movement and caught him in. With Ray behind anything, you got a chance. You got a chance to be whatever you want if Ray is on your team. Because he's a, he, he was like a little bulldog. Once he gets started, there's no stopping him. I think the key is how many lives he touched. You know, not how many stories he wrote, and how many he covered. Uh, it's how many lives he touched while he was on this earth. That'll be the legacy that I can I'll always remember. Well said words there from Hall of Fame coach Norlin Richardson today. Now Sanchez was inducted into the El Paso Athletic Hall of Fame in 1978. In fact, he was a founding board member of that Hall of Fame. Definitely a life and a career well lived.